Okay, hopefully this audio works. I know you can hear the fan, so hopefully this mic helps to, so you don't have to hear the fan as much. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hold on. Okay, hopefully this is synced. Um, I have a mic now and I'm looking at my iPad because it's connected to the iPad. So this will tell me if this dies because then I can get the other mic. Shout out to my roommate, Shy, because she got me these mics for my birthday. Not my birthday, mic for Christmas. Um, Cause me and my friend wanted to start a podcast, you know, like everybody else. Um, clearly that ain't happened. Um, but anyways, hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you've never seen my face before, wait, what? No. Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've already seen my face before. So y'all are probably wondering why I'm in a tub. Um, all you gotta do is go to my channel history like a long time ago. Um, I used to do these tub talk videos. Um, and I figured that, you know, what is today's date? Today is, hello? Okay, my phone just didn't wanna work for a second. Today is Friday, April 12th, 2024. Um, I'm also, I also need to check where Shy is because I don't want her to come home while I'm filming. Y'all see the title. Did you get clickbaited? I'm assuming I'm gonna put a clickbait title. title. And of course the fan wants to kick on or the heat as I get comfortable. So anyways, um, I'm about to graduate college and it's been a very interesting experience having to grapple with the fact that I'm not gonna be a student anymore. Um, I might go for my master's in the future, you know, but like I was an honors kid in elementary, middle school and high school. And then I was sick and tired of being like a an accelerated person. Um, so I wanted to go and be a normal student at a college. So I came to Purdue. I'm wearing sweatpants in case you can't tell. Um, so yeah, I've been here all four years and this is just gonna be basically like a video diary. I'm gonna try to keep it very short. Um, I'm gonna try not to do too much editing, maybe just the audio. Um, but yeah, it's been very interesting because I've had this like routine and um, like just this set way of living. And you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of other seniors who are about to graduate college are in the same boat as me. But I just wanted to put this out there for anyone else who's feeling similar because I think it's very interesting having to like become part of the adult world now. Um, I'm not looking for jobs right now just because my summer is very hectic and I'm going to be going to Florida. So I was going to wait until after that because I'm going in like June or something. So I wanted to wait to get a job because I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I'm hired. By the way, I'm going to be gone for like a week. Um, <laughs> Because, I don't know, I just don't think that is what most employers want when they hire someone new. Um, especially because the way that I'm, my path is looking, I'd have to get certified in something. Because um, I double majored with psych sciences, psychological sciences, law and society, which is just a funny word for criminology. Um, and then I'm getting a minor in human development and family studies. And right now I'm thinking about becoming a registered behavior technician which I just learned about like a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, I should say. Um, and there's a lot of places back home in my area that are looking to hire that. Um, so I don't know, like it just makes me a little sad cause you know, um, uh, my friend sent me this reel and if I can find it, or I can just talk about it cause it's, that's just going to be more editing for me and I don't want it to be this video to be super heavily edited, but it was like me trying to go out every night during the week. Cause once you graduate, it's just called alcoholism and it was funny. Um, but it was like low key kind of true, not, not in that sense specifically, but more of just like the fact that we're not going to have the convenience of being able to be near our friends. Um, cause like I live with my best friend, shy, 
and our friend Jack is right downstairs because I live in an apartment building and he's literally a floor down. And then our friend Marissa is literally not even a block away living in a house. Um, and you know, college has been really fun. I've made a lot of friends. Um, it's definitely been really hard. Like college is not easy. Um, anyone who says that, uh, it's probably lying. <laughs> They're probably lying to you. <laughs> um, but I have no regrets. I think this was, yeah, I have no regrets. Um, cause I chose the college I wanted to go to and could I have done some things better? Yeah, I definitely could have. But ultimately, those choices led me to where I am now. So I think it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, having all this independence. And then I've seen a couple of videos. I remember watching a video from a girl here on YouTube. And it was like titled, like, moving back in with your parents and losing your freedom again. Um, which I can definitely understand. Because, like, when I'm here, I can just go do whatever I want. And nobody's gonna question me. Granted, like Shy might be like, oh, where are you headed? And I'll be like, oh, I'm going like here or I'm going to hang out with so-and-so. But it's not like when you're with your parents and they're like, what time are you leaving? Where are you going out? How are you getting there? Cause like, that's the other thing too. Being on Purdue's campus, being so close to campus and not having to commute every day, everything is in walking distance. Am I hungry? I got AJ's right downstairs, a little Chicago themed burger joint place. Um, I want Panda, Chipotle. Do I want to go to the bars? I can walk there. Like besides like huge grocery stores, there's a mini Target right on State Street. And I mentioned this in my last video. Um, I'm gonna try not to mention it as much, but like when I went to Japan, it was just so nice living in a walkable city um, where you could just walk everywhere you need to go to. Um, and you didn't have to like really plan things out super thoroughly. like. I, granted, I like to plan things in advance, but like there will be times where my friends will just be like, what are you doing right now? And I'm like, nothing. They're like, you wanna go do this? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> but like, it's kind of hard. And especially cause a lot of my friends at home, they have like full-time jobs. Um, so it kind of limits the time that you can hang out with them to like after 5 p.m. during the weekdays and then like, whenever on the weekends, but then there's just all other stuff going on on the weekends. Um, and I don't want this to sound like I'm like scared about being an adult. Cause granted that's what adult adulting is, is like just kind of planning out in advance, like when you're going to hang out with someone and like having to work a nine to five. Um, so I don't want that to sound like this at all. Cause I'm actually pretty excited. One, because I'm broke. I don't got no money. I spent it all in Japan and I spend it on bills to keep the water running and that fan going with the lights on. And I've been doing that since last year, my junior year, like paying bills, like not living in a dorm. So like, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm wondering if it is just the freedom aspect, but it's also like my friends here at school live in Indiana, live in Missouri. Um, like they're very far. Um, so it's kind of sad, like it's going to be a while probably before I see them. Um, and I remember, um, flashback to high school graduation that was in 2020 when the pandemic hit, um, like going to our graduation ceremony was basically just driving up and we had like three podiums set up outside of the school and like you would go up and get your diploma and that was it compared to like being in our little football field um because my brother graduated last year or was it the year before he graduated like just recently and i got to go to his graduation and we went to the same high school and he had his outside and i was like could have been me but it's whatever um but i remember high school graduation and just like being like I was more crying because I was upset because everyone was going their separate ways, even though the people I cared most about keeping in my life are still in my life. Um, whether it's just hanging out once a year or um, just texting on Snapchat, like, you know what I mean? Um, so I was more upset of like, I remember crying because I was like so upset that everyone was going their separate ways. Um, 
And now I'm just kind of conflicted because I'm just like, yay, I get two pieces of paper. Um, but I've seen, I've met a lot of people through like networking and stuff where they're like in careers that I'd be interested in and they're doing great. Yeah, I thought I would have more to say to be honest, but I guess I, I should have written myself out questions because sometimes for me, like I don't know about y'all, I am the therapist friend. And so oftentimes it's kind of hard for me to just talk about things on the fly unless someone like asks me or provokes me. Um, and another thing I think that adds to like the whole like growing up and whatever is the fact that I know so many people from my high school who are pregnant, had a baby, got engaged. Um, and it's just like another sign that we're growing up. Um, cause you know, that's just when life happens. Um, but I also think it's interesting because I'm Gen Z and I think we have very different outlooks on life than our parents did, which could be a whole separate video. I love watching video essays about the differences between generations. Um, but I'm not here to harp on one generation or another. Um, but like, just for instance, like the idea of owning a home, which I would eventually like to do, but it seems very far fetched, um, at the moment based off, cause I know I picked my job for, or I picked my degree based off what I was interested in, not what would make me money. So like my goal for getting a job is going to be 20 to an hour, which I think equates to about like 45,000 a year. But then my boyfriend's over here and he's getting like 70K, 70,000, which I mean, granted, he's like in engineering. So like, no shit, he's going to get paid more. Um, but it's just like, you know, kind of, what is it? Disheartening to know that like my paycheck could have bought a house like 30, 40, 50 years ago. And now, and it's like, you can't even, I met this one lady who's a psychotherapist in New York and LA. And she's like, yeah, unfortunately, like she was talking. And I was like, this lady, when I met her, I was like, you are my spirit animal. But she was like, I paid for my husband's undergraduate, two masters and PhD. And he's a professor. Like, I think he's like a history teacher at a college. And he, she was like, yeah, no, like you can't raise a family off of that. And like, that's not really in my mind right now because I've been trying really hard to focus on the moment, you know, like the current moment and be present. Um, even though sometimes that's really hard. Um, like I know me and Shai have discussions a lot, especially with what's going on around the world. It's kind of, it's sometimes really hard to be in the moment and enjoy things. Um, sometimes for me, I choose to do what makes me happy and focus on what makes me happy. But I know not everyone else can do that. And I think I'm lucky in a sense to be able to live in like this bliss. Um, but again, I do realize that's a shortcoming, but yeah, you know, as someone who now this is the deep part, this is what I forgot that I was going to, is that I mentioned how I was like an honors and accelerated student in middle of school and high school. Um, and I got a lot of my self validation through academics. Cause like getting an A is like, okay, you're doing good. Like you're being successful. That's how I see it. I don't apply that to everyone else. Like my engineering friends, they're happy when they get C's. And I'm like, that's crazy because for me, like getting a C isn't the end of the world. I have a C, I have like two C's and a D on my transcript, which one of them was from Japanese 101. The other was from like bio. And then the D is from statistics. Um, Japanese 101, I messed up because I didn't realize I was supposed to be doing these like assignments, like these speaking assignments. I thought it was like a one and done. So I didn't do them for like the entire semester. Bio, I just didn't really care for. And then statistics was just my professor's fault. I, I you know, normally I would put blame on myself, but like the fact that my entire class like I know so many people who retook that class. We met up weekly to do the homework assignments like together to try to figure it out. And we were all just like, none of us could figure it out because we had a textbook from like the 1980s. Um, and he didn't teach us the things that we were supposed to know in order to do the homework. 
like I will take a little bit of responsibility. But I also think like if you are if you're a shit teacher, you're a shit teacher. Um, and again, this is not me trying to harp on teachers right now because trust me, teachers need to be getting paid way more than they do. Um, just go ahead and look at all of the videos of the teachers trying to teach Gen Alpha right now. Um, they need to be getting paid way more than they do. But yeah, like I got a lot of validation from my academics. So now it's like I got to find new ways to validate myself, um, which is also interesting because, you know, getting your validation from one source isn't good. But like, I also know that I'm a good listener and like I can be there for my friends and I can get validation from my friends. Um, and I'll probably put a lot of, I'm assuming I'll probably put a lot of validation on career as in like being able to progress and move forward and like make a difference. Um, cause like I said, I'm looking into going into a register, being a registered behavior technician. So working with kids with autism, that's the pathway I'm thinking right now, like a good entry pathway for me. Um, so being able to see and make a difference for kids would be cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, if anyone's watching this, can y'all tell me how you validate yourselves? Where do you get validation from? Um, that's not academics because I have a lot of friends who don't get academic validation or they don't seek it. Um, I've been going to the gym recently because fun fact, I messed up my knees like two years ago. I think it was like, I think it's called like the layman's term is runner's knee. So you can like look that up, but it's basically like with the tendons in your knee, with this knee in particular, but both to a certain extent. Um, so I was in physical therapy for like six weeks, I think. And man, they put me to work. They put me to work, bro. Um, but so I've been going to the gym because I'm also trying to work on being able to accomplish 10 pushups and just building overall strength because I need to keep my knees healthy. Um, so like, there's a little bit of validation in that, like being able to go and do something good for myself, um, and see the progress that I'm able to make, even though it's like really like, it's like a long term thing. Like, it's not like a, Oh, I took this quiz and I got an A on it right away. Um, stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, if anyone has any ideas, let me know. I think I just need to get back. Another thing just with graduating has been like, oh, I'm finally going to have all this time to do the stuff I'd like to do again, like reading or drawing or like crafts, because that's what I like to do. Maybe even YouTube, because in case y'all haven't seen, if you're new to this channel or you've just recently subscribed, I probably put out like one video a year. But like back when I was in high school, when I wasn't so busy, I was doing pretty not regular but like there was a lot more videos like within a certain time span um and it kind of sucks that college has like eaten up so much of my time but again it's like i've been doing stuff that i know i enjoy it's just i've been i haven't been able to do things that i enjoy that i can't put on a resume like for example what is it i'm in an internship right now i am a mentor for freshmen i'm in a research lab an industrial organizational psychology research lab um, I have done a lot of stuff and I had, I told Shia, I think I told my friend, I was like, sometimes I forget about all the cool stuff I've done. Um, and so like, I get a lot of validation, like for my mentoring program, I feel very satisfied when my mentees tell me like, you've helped me so much. Like that feels really good to me knowing that I can help them or like in my research lab, when my professor compliments me or like acknowledges like what I've said and like getting, getting like recognition. And again, this kind of all stems back to like getting my validation from other people. So it's like, how do I get it from myself? And this isn't like a, don't get me wrong. This isn't like a self hatred thing or a self loathing thing. It's just genuinely like, Oh, how do I do that? And like with drawing, it was like when I could 
draw something and I was really happy with it, um, like I felt good. Or like if I did something creative and I felt, then I felt good. Um, so there's that stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess I will leave, I will end this video on a positive note. Um, I don't think I've been super negative, but it's just been me like just talking, you know? Um, yeah, like I said, I am very excited to graduate. Um, I'm excited to learn new things because if there's one thing I've learned is that like, there's one thing I've learned is that like college can prepare you so much, but you really just got to go out there and work um, or do whatever it is you want to do. Um, so, and this is not me harping on college. I think if you have the opportunity to get a college education and you want to, you definitely should. Um, but like you don't need to feel forced to go. And I'm sorry if your parents make you feel like that and make you choose a major that you're not passionate about. Cause I realized that I'm, I'm very lucky that my parents were supportive, um, that they would let me go where I wanted to go. And they helped me when they did. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what kind of job I will get. I was gonna say the whole 10 push-ups thing, Loki has to deal with the <laughs> my Law and Society degree. We've had like a guy from the FBI come in a couple times to talk to us. And the FBI has a physical fitness test. And I think for a woman, you need to be able to do like 32. So, but I also just kind of want to be able to flex to be like, yeah, I can do push-ups or like pull-ups too. Like I've been working on trying to do like the scapula things where it's like you just hang and you go like, <laughs> you go like that. Okay, so yeah, there's like clearly things that I'm doing like outside of school. Um, but I'm excited to have my freedom because it's interesting because it's like I'll be getting freedom for my time, but like, yeah. I also really want to redo my room so I'm excited to do that because my room still looks like how it is when I got it redone in elementary school and I just yeah want to do something new okay so the time is red which means my camera is running out of space so as I was saying I had to get up out of the tub because I thought my SD card ran out of space but yeah let me know if you're also a senior graduating and you're feeling the same way um I know a lot of people are more scared I'm kind of just coming at it with a neutral approach to be like, yeah, I'm sad that this phase of my life is ending, but you know, it's kind of what a lot of people go through anyways. Um, and my thing with my job is I'm just like, I just don't want to hate my job. <laughs> like I don't want to hate going to work um, because that's why I've stayed at my part-time job for I think this year will be six years. Like I've been at the same place for six years because I love it there so much and I don't hate going there. Um, but yeah, let me know how you're feeling about graduating. Are you about to start college? Um, where are you going? Because I do like hearing um, other people's opinions. Um, am I being dramatic? I don't think I'm being dramatic, but you can let me know if I if you think I am. Um, if you're an adult who's already been in the real world for a while, am I in focus? I don't even know if I'm in focus. I never know if I'm in focus. I love the Canon G7X, but I do miss my DSLR just because it, it was like, oh, just sit in one spot the entire time and you will always be in focus. Whereas in this camera, I can't tell if I'm always in focus because I'm also blind. Um, but yeah, if you're an adult who's been in the real world for a while, let me know. Did you have these same thoughts? Did you not? Do you think there's a difference between like, I don't know, the Gen Z thought process versus others? Let me know. Um, Cause I know for a fact, a lot of my friends feel the same way. I do have a couple friends who are still, like they still have like a semester or two left until they graduate. Um, so they're not going through this exact process. But yeah, let me know and i might see you pretty soon in the future depends because a lot of the other thing was that a lot of my content was like school-based i feel like um so that just goes to show this will be a very interesting uh evolution of my life after i graduate
So yeah, that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.